good afternoon guys so in last lecture you have studied the uh, you know introduction part of the data structure you have studied what do you mean by data what do you mean by information entities then you have uh, you know record file collections etc right so apart from this now we are starting with the next topic and that is nothing but the data structure operations okay so even if you are storing the data you need that data for the further processing so which kind of operation could you do on the data structure that we going to study so first one is traversing okay so what do you mean by traversing traversing means accessing each record only once so that it can be proceed so suppose you are storing the data in the particular format and now you need the one element see each record record is also known as element so suppose you are accessing each element only once Uh, so that you can you know proceed that particular element is known as traversing मतलब आपने data store किया हुआ है उसमें से एक बार आप data लेके उस पर कुछ भी process कर रहे हो editing कर रहे हो cut copy paste कर रहे हो so that is nothing but the traversing okay the next one is searching so you know what you mean by searching सर्ची searching means finding the location of the particular record okay with the given key value or finding the, all the record that satisfies the condition that means what देखो जब भी अभी हम लोग ने कुछ डेटा को स्टोर किया हुआ है अभी व्हाट्सअप में ही आप लोग देख लो ठीक है व्हाट्सएप में कोई मैसेजेस है और पर्टिकुलर मैसेज आपको ढूंढना है तो आप सर्च में जाके सिर्फ एक कीवर्ड वहाँ पे टाइप करो तो वो कीवर्ड के सारे मैसेजेस आपको दिख जाएंगे पीडीएफ में भी आप देखो एक की टाइप करो वो की के सारे जो वर्ड्स है लाइन है वो आपको डिस्प्ले हो जाएंगे सो ये जो कॉन्सेप्ट है इसे हम सर्चिंग बोलते हैं ओके okay? तो ये डेटा पे एक प्रोसेस ही हो गया जहाँ पर हम लोग कुछ सर्च करने की कोशिश करें ओके The next one is inserting. So, what do you mean by inserting? Inserting means uh, adding the new record to the structure. So, suppose you have, uh, you know, lots of record that you are storing in the memory, and now you have to add some extraordinary uh, information, or you have to edit something. You have to add that in between the two rows. So, it is not nothing but inserting. What do you mean by the next one is deleting? So, deleting means removing the record from the structure. So, suppose you don't require that particular record for any other processes, and now you want to remove that from the memory so that process on the data is known as deleting or uh, the next one is sorting so sorting means arranging the record in some logical order so suppose uh, for an example uh, you can say arranging the uh, names in the alphabetical order or uh, or arranging the numbers in the ascending order so you have right click mouse then you have to right click on the mouse and then you can sort that particular data in uh, who can satisfy the particular condition so example is suppose you need to uh, you know uh, arrange the names in alphabetical order or you need to arrange the number in the ascending order so that concept is known as sorting the next one is merging so what do you mean by merging merging means the you know combining the records in two different files into a single file so It, it's very simple suppose you have two different records and you have to merge that into a one particular file so that uh, Pro procedure is known as merging. So merging means you just combining the records in two different files into a single file. That is nothing but the merging. So these are only six uh, data structure operations. So first one is traversing, searching, inserting, deleting, sorting, and merging. These are of two two lines explanation, and you will get that on the page number thirty four of your textbook. Today by two two thirty, I will going to send you the uh, PDF notes of chapter one that is operating system. If you don't have the textbook, I will going to share the scan PDF with you today itself. Okay. So moving towards the next topic, that is nothing but the algorithmic notation. Uh, so guys, algorithmic notation. Uh, see, whenever you are writing any kind of program, any kind of language, then you should know the algorithm first. Algorithms are nothing but the step by step procedure of a particular process. So suppose I am telling you addition. So what is the procedure? You need two inputs over you need number of inputs okay so i am just talking about two number addition so what you are doing so you are just taking one input you are taking second input then you are just uh, you know operating that da data with the operator known as addition operator and then you will be getting the output so what are the steps 
take one number take second number add that two number and provide the output so this is the basic algorithm okay so whenever you are storing the data uh, or the data operations then you need the algorithmic notation so algorithmic algorithm is you know the finite step by step list of well defined instructions for solving the particular problem so suppose you have some kind of problem and you need to solve that so what you are going going to do you are just doing step by step list of well defined instructions okay to solve that particular problem so we need to you know will be needed to write the algorithms for a different data structure operators so let's understand the algorithm okay with with one example so uh, in the first part of algorithm what we are doing so there are a uh, total n number of steps so in the first part we are just telling the purpose of algorithm so suppose maine abhi aapko example diya tha addition ka so what is the purpose of the algorithm addition okay so what what you are going to do in this you are taking some input you are using some variables to store the particular input so step number 1 is purpose of algorithm and input data and variable so addition karne ke liye kya kaun sa input data chahiye any two numbers wo aap kahan pe store karoge koi bhi ek variable leke ए नाम का वेरिएबल लिया उसमें स्टोर किया बी नाम का वेरिएबल लिया उसमें स्टोर किया सो so, वेरिएबल में आप स्टोर करोगे तो ये सारा डिक्लेरेशन स्टेप वन में हो जाता है दिस इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ अल्गोरिदम ओके द स्टेप्स इन द अल्गोरिदम आर एग्जीक्यूटेड वन आफ्टर दी अनदर सो स्टेप्स आर नथिंग बट यू नो दैट आर एग्जीक्यूटेड वन आफ्टर दी अनदर सो यू कैन यू मे यू नो ट्रांसफर दी कंट्रोल फ्रॉम स्टेप वन टू स्टेप फाइव ऑल्सो एन नंबर ऑफ स्टेप सो हाव यू विल यू डू दैट यू जस्ट हैव टू यूज द स्टेटमेंट लाइक गो टू स्टेप एन सो यू आर जस्ट इंस्ट्रक्टिंग द पर्टिकुलर प्रोग्राम टू जम्प ऑन टू द पर्टिकुलर लाइन और द लोकेशन एंड ऑटोमेटिकली ड्यू टू दैट स्टेटमेंट योर यू नो कंट्रोल मे ट्रांसफर टू द डिफरेंट स्टेप्स ओके Uh, and the last one is exit or you can say stop statements that complies or you know uh, that that complies that your uh, program has been ended over here so that statements completes the algorithm you can say so after executing that exit and stop statements your algorithm get finished okay so data may be assigned to the variable by using read statement and it is displayed by write or print statement so suppose you want to give something so you just have to uh, use the read statement and suppose you have to uh, re uh, you know uh, get the output from the particular display the output then you have to use the write statement for an example algorithm looks as shown in the figure dekho figure mein maine aapko dikhaya hai algorithm 1 so first part is nothing but the purpose and input data the input and data variable declaration okay Uh, and step one, two, three. There are n number of steps, and the steps are executing as per the uh, you know uh, you can say the instruction, or you can transfer the control any time to the any location uh, by using some kind of statements. And suppose you have to end that particular location, then you are going to use the exit or stop statement. Okay, guys. So this is the. Uh, important part of algorithmic notation so uh, today's part is all about algorithmic notation and uh, data transfer operations okay so in the next lecture we are going to study in detail flow chart topic and today by 2:30 itself i will going to share you some pdf regarding to the topic thank you so much and we'll meet again thank you